Hi, everyone, and welcome to the special simulcast of the Neil Haley Show and the Love Is Podcast with our host, Kim Sorrell. Kim, how are you? And I know you're excited to have this guest on again. We had such a fun convo before. Yeah, I am so excited. I'm always excited to see you too, Neil. So hello. I hope you're doing great. I'm doing and good. Noah James, oh my word, one of my favorite characters on The Chosen is Andrew and played by Noah. And uh, Noah is still kind of... Um, in the honeymoon newlywed stage it wasn't that long ago that you got married and probably one of those weddings where you might have heard more than once it's about time i'm not sure but yes, that, uh, that did it, happen sometimes i heard something <laughs> akin to that <laughs> something sort of like that anyway yeah. and you love cats and I think you love cats so much that I think you would love if anybody's whoever's listening if they have a cat you'd probably love their cat too. 100% this is true. I just looked around and my cats have abandoned me in this moment. They're not making an appearance, but they are cozy on the couch. Uh, the lady and the tiny, that's their names. And actually, speaking of honeymoon period, uh, my wife and I did just finally go on our official honeymoon. We were able to do that. And so we went to uh, the French Riviera and had just the absolute best time. Awesome. That's so awesome. That is it, so fun. That is so awesome. I'm glad that you finally got to do that. It's yes. probably awfully hard with scheduling and yes. filming and everything going on to figure out a time to make it happen. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so the fourth season is upon us. It's coming up really soon here. You finished filming. And, you know, one thing that I love about Andrew is that uh, the character you play so well is always just so kind. Like he keeps Simon in check, but he's just always so kind. And uh, I love that, that there doesn't seem to be a mean bone in his body. Do you feel that well, way? God. It's Well, there probably are mean bones, but, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> kindness, I I'm glad that you said that. I feel like Andrew is kind as well. And that's, definitely one of his um the qualities in in which he tries to lead with in his life and um i think that andrew appreciates what people are going through and uh there's empathy there and so i feel like that kindness comes comes from there and it's not necessarily um loud or boisterous sometimes and you know with a brother like Simon Peter, it's it's sometimes could feel like, you know, you were not the center of attention, of course. Um, and I think Andrew just, you know, a, a lot of the time leads with kindness. And there's a feeling that, you know, I may not be everything that I should be, but whatever I am, I'm going to bring to the table. I'm going to, um, to help in any way that I can. And that's something that I think is really um admirable it's something that i i aspire to in in my life for sure so what should we expect season four without giving anything away yeah get ready for a punch in the face <laughs> get ready for it's it's a challenging um season it's it's it challenges the audience to come along on this journey with us um because obviously as we all know where the story is going. Um, and I feel like in many ways, it's preparing the audience for um, the depth of, of conflict, uh, sometimes despair, but also hope. That is really uh, coming to the forefront in this season. And it was also challenging to film. It was a challenging season, uh, the elements, the looming actor strike um it, in some ways it felt like mirrored <laughs> in the the content of the show it, it it's a it's a challenging one but i think all the more worth it and i'm super excited for people to to engage with it i'm excited to see what people feel and and say once they get to the end of it it's just um i i think it will be the best season yet um hopefully counterpoint to how hard it was to film. 
<laughs> yeah, well, uh, interesting that it was that hard to film and that it it went along with what you were doing. The world was going along with what you were doing. That's so cool. Right. Yeah. And, you know, um, I think one of the things um, that I see is that people are human and everybody's portrayed as being human. And so people are going to have doubts when they're human. They're going to make mistakes because they're human. And I love that 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 comes through in in The Chosen. Thank you. Yeah, that the I mean, that is paramount, I think, to The Chosen's success because it's all about authenticity. And without that, um, the audience can't feel a way in to the story and to what we're trying to portray. And because we are showing the human side of, of all of these characters, I feel like people then can really look at it and say, whoa, I reacted the exact same way as that character. That's something I need to pay attention to. Or, oh, I, you know, in, in season two, I say as Andrew, I don't feel great. I don't feel like I can be this, this, you know, what hero in our people's history? Like, I, I just am me. I feel like, how have I been thrust into this position in a way? And and I think that a lot of people feel that way in their own lives. And when they watch something like this, they go, whoa, if someone that I have been hearing about all my life, uh, uh, you know, could have felt that way, I I, I feel in good company. You know, and and um, I have more worth than maybe I give myself credit to. We all have worth. And I think seeing all of us as human beings, um, it helps in that. And the fan base, uh, since we last talked, again, having theater premieres and sellouts just to see the, the, the show, it's got to feel amazing. And I'm sure your life has changed dramatically since being a part of this, right? And being oh, recognized, I mean, all the different, it's, it's got to be chaotic. My life is definitely different, um, but all in in good ways. I mean, The Chosen has completely changed my life and I'm forever grateful for it. And then in terms of the fans and the the outreach of fans and, and just the sheer number of them, um, it's kind of unfathomable, especially from where we began. We began as this, you know, the little engine that could kind of show. And now to see, you know, premiering in theaters, selling out, we had, we just had Chosen Con, thousands of people showing up to be there with us and support the show. It was really incredible. And I just, honestly, it is a humbling experience. And when people come up to me, maybe on the street and they just say, hey, I love the show or I love your work. And it got me through a difficult time. That to me is just, it's one of the best things to be a part of because you know that the show is, even if it's just entertaining people, you know, that could be enough. But the fact that it's helping some people and helping them get through difficult moments, um, you know, I mean, that's, that's what more can you want out of art? It's, it's really a, a remarkable thing to be a part of. It, it is remarkable. Anytime you can change somebody's life and to do it by acting, to do it with, the cast that you're doing it with and the show that you're doing it with, you know, it kind of brings it back to that authenticity that uh, from my understanding, it's like one big family, like uh, everybody gets along. There isn't somebody who's stirring up trouble, but the cast gets along and that I think shows in the work as well. The cast does get along really, really well, but it's also the crew. It's, we have a massive crew. I mean, the amount of people that it takes to put this on. Wow. I mean, you're a hundreds and hundreds of people. And it's a joy to go in and, and see everyone. And, and you know, even in the downtime, there's a lot of downtime on, on sets. And then there's a lot of like, hurry up, do it as fast as you can. So even during the downtime, just talking to, to someone who maybe you haven't really had much time with and getting to know their job, how they perform their job, how they came to it. And then the cast, you know, will sit in the, you know, maybe tent that we're in with our <laughs> little chairs getting ready. And we just get a, you know, we all know that we support each other and we're there for each other. 
that goes a long way to making the show what it is, I, I feel like, because no matter who's on camera, you have the other people helping them give the best performance that they possibly can. You know, and I think that when you talk about all that, it's it's just got to feel amazing. Uh, anything you can say, any, you said it's going to be a, the craziest season, like the mind blowing season, anything you can share with us. And when is it premiering just for those two things? Well, listen, the first, the, the, the second one's a lot easier to say. So it is premiering in 2024 in February. Um, so, you know, get ready for that. That's not, not, you know, it, it's pretty soon now. Um, the something that I can say about this about this season, like a moment. Uh, I mean, truthfully, there are going to be lots of moments that you have read about and thought about. Um, big moments uh, that transpire this season. I feel like people will be shocked at how much ground we cover this season. Um, I was shocked when I read the scripts. I was shocked at how much ground we covered. Um, I just thought, you know, it's it's no secret we want to do seven seasons. Um, but my arithmetic of how, you know, where we would go was was off. And I think people will will really really um, enjoy what we have to to offer. Mm. All right, one yeah, more question. I can't here. wait. Yeah, I, I can't wait, of course, and everybody else can't wait, and it's going to be exciting. I, you know, to be in theaters, here you sign up for a TV show and you end up in theaters. Oh, what, what was that like for you? That, that's the chosen way. We never quite know. <laughs> you know, you sign up for one thing and then all of a sudden it, it takes on a life of its own, which is one of the best things about being a part of a creative process. Is No one could have foreseen this no one could have foreseen going into the theaters with fans and watching the premiere um the way that we will it's it's i mean what can i say i'm i'm loving the ride yeah well then you talk about chosen con too again february and i guess we're gonna have to have you back or uh, to find out more little secrets for february but i appreciate it again noah uh, for stopping by. That was, again, the special simulcast of the Neil Haley Show and the Love Is podcast. And I know once we put this out, especially on YouTube, it, the, 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 everyone's going to be starting to talk because your fan base is gigantic, guys. Appreciate it again. Thank you.